Hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Karis Leon and thank you for clicking. Coming back with another video. And this one is for all my artists and my songwriter. You know, I as an artist, you know, I am a singer songwriter. Please, you can also check me out on uh, Apple Music, Spotify, has Karis Leon. I've previously released, uh, I have a few songs out there. I'm currently working on my uh, debut you know like single you know I'm still in the midst of figuring out what I am as an artist and what sounds which also if you have any answer to kind of like you know I'm, I'm still I still have I still have hard times uh, you know defining myself as an artist like what I mean is what s sounds I can sound great on a jazz record even on a dance track like EDM as I also sound great on pop records so and it's like you can't really do all three at the same time because people will be confused like what is this guy is it EDM is it DJ is it jazz singer is it a pop singer so for, so for me it's like I'm still you know in the midst of like figuring out figuring out what I am as an artist so please if you have any tip on that leave it in a comment I would really 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 appreciate to read all of that and yes but the reason why I made this video is to sort of like ask to all my to all my singer and songwriter what is the most difficult thing for you as an artist is it writing songs coming up with ideas or you know playing instruments I don't play instrument unfortunately um, that is one thing that I really regret uh, I was born and raised in Africa. Uh, I came to the U.S. about 10 years ago. So I was raised in a country where, you know, talents or like, or art wasn't really celebrated. You know, you could have, you could have, this is what happened when I, when, when I was growing up, right? In a lot of African households, you may have a lot of, which can also be actually another whole not a separate, separate video, but I'll just give you a hint. Like in a lot of African households, you may have the most beautiful voice, you might know how to write the most beautiful songs, but parents or the community will not invest in your in, invest in your talents. You know, I see a lot of American parents, for example, or Western parents, you know, they know immediately whenever their their child is up to something, you know, either you know, their child like to dance a lot or like to draw, like to, you know, sing. They know, they know, they notice that right away and they, they invest in that. You know, Beyonce is that, for example, he sent her to, you know, competition all over Houston at such a young age. You know, Lady Gaga's parents, for example, bought her a piano at four years old. You know, Chris Brown, I believe he went to a dance, dancing school when he was young. So you see all those parents really investing in those kids uh, talent. So that's why when they get older, they know a lot of things. You know, the 10,000 hours actually really works because mind you, if you've been singing since you were five years old and you're like 15, right that's 10 years that's more than 10,000 hours I believe right so I didn't get to experience a lot of those things so oh, I always loved music but my parents never really oriented me or invested in my talents uh, which is that one thing that I really regret but uh, I know it's not the end of the world you know uh, I can always well I tried to learn piano in high school it just didn't work out <laughs> um, I tried to learn guitar it didn't work out so I'm more of a my voice is my only instrument, you know, I write my songs and and I sing, but the most difficult for me is to record. I don't know, recording sounds very stressful. Like that is the only thing that when I lay on my bed at night, I'm like, I can't believe I got to record the song tomorrow. Like that is the most, that is the hardest thing for me to do. I, I don't know, maybe I get frustrated because I have an accent. So singing uh, in the American way or in the, you know, English is not my first language, right? So I do have an accent um, and sometimes you might hear it in my song. So I really need to make sure 
that I'm singing it in a way that everybody understands. You know, every, having an accent is not an issue. The issue is making sure that making sure that you are understood perfectly, so that someone in India, someone in Asia, someone in I mean, India is in Asia, but someone in Asia, someone in Africa, Europe, America, everybody gets to understand you the same way. So that is, I guess, that's where my frustration kind of come from. So if you have any tip on like how to reduce that frustration, <laughs> just let me know, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you can also relate. But I would also like to hear or to read what's your hardest thing to do as a musician. As an artist, is it, is it is it writing songs, coming up with ideas? Because there's nothing better than seeing a community of people that you can relate with. You know, I'm really excited to read all of you guys' comments and to see, you know, if we have a lot of things in common. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. You know, what do you think? And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and share the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. This channel is all about learning and teaching each other to educate each other. So please, if you have any answer, any tip for me, um, that would be very much appreciated. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'm Karis Leon, and I'll see you next time. Bye.